Kibana visualizations enhancements include Kibana analysis for purchasing data and Kibana analysis for receivables collections. PeopleSoft Purchasing delivers three Kibana dashboards to support the procurement business process, procurement contracts, purchasing effectiveness, and purchasing operations. The Procurement Contracts Dashboard allows contract administrators to identify transactions that require attention. It provides visual understanding of contract trends within the selected time period. The Applied Filters modify data across all visualizations. Click on a segment or a bar of a chart to filter data. At the bottom of the dashboard, the data table lists contract details and corresponding purchase order information. Use the View Details link to access the document status page. Different visualizations on the Purchasing Effectiveness Dashboard help procurement managers analyze the current trend of purchase volume, top suppliers, use of payment terms, delivery performance, along with the rejections and returns of purchase orders by supplier. Below the visualizations, the Purchase Order and Receipt Details table lists the purchase orders and corresponding receipt details. On the Purchasing Operations dashboard, buyers can visualize purchase orders based on different criteria like purchase order status, acknowledgement status, budget status, document tolerance status, and more. This information is critical to the day-to-day -day operations of a buyer. Buyers can identify the purchase orders that require attention and take action after viewing the Purchase Order Receive Detail section. Use the View PO link to view or modify its details. PeopleSoft Receivables delivers two Kibana dashboards that help analyze collection performance, AR Collections Analysis, and Collector Performance. The AR Collections Analysis Dashboard allows you to monitor and measure your receivables position and includes visualizations like AR Balance versus Collected, Write-Offs and Deductions, and Top 5 Customer Risk Scores. Applied filters modify data across all visualizations. At the bottom of the dashboard, the Item Detail table displays a list of items that make up the data shown in the visualizations. You can use the Item Detail link to access the Item Activity page and view further details about the item or modify information as needed. The Collector Performance Dashboard allows you to analyze the collector's workload and tasks assigned to them. It includes visualizations like Overdue Balance by Collector and Currency, Write-Offs by Collector, and Credit Memos by Collector. Additional features for this dashboard are identical to those of the AR Collections Analysis Dashboard. This completes our demonstration of Kibana Visualizations. The Run Control Update Framework was introduced to FSCM in Update Image 30. It allows you to update dates and other parameters for multiple run controls instead of manually updating those parameters individually for each run control. These FSCM applications have adopted this framework. This completes the Run Control Update Framework feature description. PeopleSoft enhances the Fluid Work Center framework to enable email notifications for multiple My Work transactions. This feature is now available for the Payables, Receivables, and General Ledger Work Centers. Select the Email Notification action to access the Email Notification page. Use the Email Notification page to email selected transactions to interested parties. The email text is generated automatically based on the transaction selected on the Work Center. This completes the Email Notification Collaboration in Fluid Work Center feature description. 
General Ledger features include approved to unpost journals and journals pending approval action. General Ledger enhances the approval workflow feature to approve journals that need to be unposted. This is similar to approving journal posting. In the General Ledger Work Center, use the Mark Submit Journals for Unposting page to submit journals that have a Mark to Unpost or Submit for Approval status. You can select journals en masse or individually. Journals can be marked to unpost even when approval is not required. Use the Pending Approvals page to review and approve single or multiple journal entries for unposting. PeopleSoft General Ledger enhances the General Ledger Fluid Work Center to list all journals that are pending approval. Users can view journals that are pending approval and take appropriate action individually or en masse access the journal header, and access the journal line detail. This completes the General Ledger Features description. PeopleSoft eProcurement enhances the fluid requisition process, enabling you to navigate to the checkout page instead of the cart page. On the Fluid Installation Settings page, select the Go to Cart First or Go to Checkout First option. Based on the selection, the Edit option on the My Requisitions page displays the Cart page or Checkout page. This completes the Checkout flag for Edit Requisition feature description. Expenses feature enhancements include Fluid Travel Authorizations Redesign, Check Budgets During Fluid Approval Process, Receipt required on approval pages, and use privilege templates for fluid approvals. PeopleSoft Expenses redesign travel authorizations in the Fluid User Interface. From the Travel Authorization page, you can now perform all tasks on transactions that originated from the Classic or Fluid User Interface. All fields in the header can be entered or changed, and you can add attachments at the header or line levels. Create a cash advance or populate from another travel authorization, and notice that all fields on a line can be entered or changed. You can add or delete expense types with an unlimited number of expense type rows, and expense types that have assigned per diem amounts can be added to a travel authorization. From the Travel Authorization Distribution page, you can enter or change values, even when they default from User Preferences or Setup. And, from the Line Detail page, you can add or change details for an expense type. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the fluid approval process to check budgets before approval if commitment control is enabled. Approvers can run a budget check for pending expense reports and travel authorizations. Fluid approval pages also display whether receipt is required and attached for expense reports. This information helps the approver decide whether to approve the expense report. If receipts are not attached, an approver can drill down to the expense details to see if an acceptable reason is provided for no receipt. Fluid Approvals now recognizes approval privilege templates for expense reports. The privilege template for travel and expense documents determines what fields an approver can modify. These templates also determine whether certain fields are hidden or display only. This example illustrates that an approver can modify general ledger chart fields. From the approval page, when drilling into an expense report, the chart fields are now open for the approver to modify. This completes the expenses features description. Asset management features include partial lease retirement enhancement, accounting for foreign currency leases enhancement, work order notes enhancement, and schedule work order tasks using Quick Work Order. P 
PeopleSoft Lease Administration enhances payables lease amendments to record partial lease terminations. Partial lease terminations represent a reduction in lease scope, like a decrease in rentable property area or a reduction in equipment quantity. Select the Decrease in Scope option on the Amendment Details page to indicate the amendment results in a partial retirement. This option is used when there is a reduction in lease scope. Use the Decrease in ROU tab on the Create New Lease General Information page to select the assets impacted by the decrease in scope. Enter the decrease in the rentable area or quantity to remeasure the leased asset and lease obligation. PeopleSoft Lease Administration enhances the accounting for foreign currency payables leases. This enhancement affects the accounting of currency realized gains and losses on lease payments, bifurcation of rent expense for operating leases, lease modifications remeasuring the right of use asset and lease obligation, lease interest accruals, and chart field transfers, recategorizations, and retirement transactions. For details about foreign currency accounting on payables leases, see the Accounting for Foreign Currency Payable Leases in PeopleSoft white paper on My Oracle Support, Document ID 237239.1. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management enhances work order notes to display all notes entered on associated service requests. On the Work Order page, use the Notes link to access Work Order Notes. The Notes History section displays Work Order Notes, the date and time the note was entered, and the note source, either the service request or the work order. All notes entered on the associated service request display here. This is also true when a work order is associated with multiple service requests. You can also email selected notes to interested parties. PeopleSoft Maintenance Management enhances the Quick Work Order feature to add, delete, and update schedules for work order tasks. Use the Resource Schedules section to add or update labor, inventory, and procurement resource schedules for the work order task. You can select Copy from Requirements to copy requirements information to the schedules. This completes the Asset Management feature's description. Billing features include defined thresholds prior to finalization and run billing interface process by business unit. You can now establish thresholds for billing business units. If the threshold checkbox is selected and an invoice is below the established threshold invoice amount, then the invoice is not selected for the finalization process. When accessing the Invoices Not Finalized page from the Billing Work Center, if the Finalize and Print or Single Action Job Action is selected for multiple invoices, and some invoices are below the threshold invoice amount, the system displays a message notifying you that invoices below the threshold amount will not be finalized. In addition, from the Standard Billing Header Info 1 page, if you select the Invoice button and the invoice amount is less than the threshold invoice amount for the business unit, the system displays a message indicating that the invoice can't be finalized. You can now run the billing interface process by business unit in addition to interface ID. When running this process by business unit, all interface IDs within the selected business unit or business unit range are processed. This completes the billing features description. Purchasing features include enter asset detail during inspection and receipt and review and update supplier change request. PeopleSoft Purchasing enhances the inspection process by allowing inspectors to enter and review asset details in addition to performing their normal inspection tasks. 
On the Maintain Receipt Asset Details page, an inspector can select a receipt line, view or update asset-related information by selecting the AM status link, interface receipts with asset management, and access staged asset management information. On the Asset Management Information page, asset details like tag number and serial ID can be entered. Use the Inspect Receipts page to access asset information. The Asset Management Status field displays a pending or moved link, which is based on the review status of asset details. Use this link to access the Maintain Receipt Asset Details page. PeopleSoft enhances the supplier change request process to allow editors to review and update change requests. The required supplier request options and reason codes must be enabled on the Supplier Request System Setup page so that editors can modify change requests. Before submitting a change request for approval, an editor views the request by selecting the Request Supplier Change Request type and makes modifications if necessary. View the request submitted for review by selecting the Request Supplier Change Request type. The Request for Review page displays the modifications to the change request by the supplier. The editor reviews the changes and can make additional modifications if required. The Adjustment History link at the top of the page displays only if the editor modifies the change request details. The Adjustment History displays the changes to the request by different editors. The Adjustment History link on the Fluid Approval page allows an approver to view modifications to a change request. This completes the Purchasing Features description. PeopleSoft Inventory enhances the cycle count process, allowing users to include or exclude an item based on its status, while creating counting events. On the Business Unit Options page, you can set the Use Status for Counting option. During the counting event creation process, the lookup prompt for the selected cycle count criteria displays the item statuses. You can also select the status on the Manual Count Multiple Items page. The Counting Event History page displays the item status if the Use Status for Counting option is Yes on the Business Unit Options page. The Item Counts page also displays the item status selected during the counting event creation process. This completes the Include or Exclude Item Status in Cycle Count feature description. Additional features added for FSCM Update Image 38 include Classic Plus Drop Zones for Contracts and Grants, the ability to search for assets using Location and Area ID, Enhancements to the Disposal Worksheet for Non-Financial Assets, Classic Plus for E-Settlements, and Searching for Project Description in Project Costing, Contracts, and Grants. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.